Hi guys, what's up? It's Joel Pitt here, back with another video, and in this video, I'll be doing a review for a film that I've seen on Netflix. Not now TV, this time Netflix. It's called The Invention of Lion. In the last video, I did a review for Megamind, which I'll leave a link to down below. There are going to be spoilers in this film, so without further ado, let's get on with it. So, instead, Netflix, it doesn't have a star rating, it has a percentage rating. Now, the reason I was on Netflix yesterday, because, like... I was using the other TV, I was just going through there, I was watching like TV stuff and I just thought, why not watch a Netflix film? Um, hey ho. This film was released on 2nd of October 2009, it, like I said, 84% rating, I guess it means it's good. Universal it is. So we've got Ricky Gervais, who plays a role in it. And is one of the directors as well because he does he does that sort of thing directing and acting as well. Um, so yeah, Ricky Gervais plays Mark Bellison. He's like so he lives in this world where they can only people can only tell the truth, and he then say he's going to tell the first world's first lie, or be the world's first liar. We have Jennifer Garner who plays Anna McDougal's. Waiter, we hear say she's out of your league. Um, got a kiss on the cheek when he's um, Anna said she, she wouldn't kiss him. There was then we saw this like different coat design because I think if they had the normal coat design, it wouldn't you know it would have been copyrighted, whatever. And then this Bob was like advertising Jonah Hill plays Frank, who I think is this is like. This miserable person doesn't like life, whatever. Um, then we hear an ad advert for Pepsi when you de when they don't have Coke, if you know what that means. Um, Tina Fey plays Shelley, who is one of Mark's co-workers, because he works in an office where they're trying to create like films, screenplays from different centuries. So he's left with the 1300s, which of course was around the Black Plague, but like, you don't want to write a film about the Black Plague. Um, so he got fired, um, his boss said, give up, who I think was called Anthony, I'm not too sure, I didn't write it on, but I have it later on. Um, Anna then emailed Mark about like, not liking him, whatever. Um, then we hear, when we saw a sad place for hopeless, pe hopeless old people is a care home. Um, telly work then didn't basically um because mark was visiting his grandma and he made the tv work and then she just rent it off um he was then wanting some money from his bank account he only had 300 dollars, but like he was thinking oh i i think there's 800 the server was down then it was actually back up it was like the person was like, oh, you actually have $300 here, but it must be a mistake, I'll give you 800 And he was like, what did I just do? He had a brain moment before. It was like, I think I did some bit, but he didn't know what the word was because everyone tells the truth. Um, he then tried lying to people and they thought he was telling the truth, whatever. So he was like, I'm an Eskimo. He was like, oh yeah, you actually are, whatever. Um, then we see for intercourse with a near stranger is a motel. He then went to a motel with the girl, the girl saying, if you don't have sex with me, the world's going to end, whatever. Or the world's going to end, have sex with me. Um, eventually it wasn't. Said someone was not drunk when they were, the police car, um, they got away with it. His roommate was then sick in a car. They went to a casino, won lots of money, saying, like, oh, I won a massive jackpot in here, um, but it's not um, coming out. Or, look over there. And then he, because he was playing roulette, and moved it to 35 black. He got a homeless man loads of money by saying, oh, he had loads of money in his bank account, whatever. He, he helped people with work. Someone get into work, I think. A couple old people then he helped um frank who plays like i said plays is played by jonah hill um he then had drinks with 
Frank. Mark phoned Anna, saying he was a different man, whatever. He then came up with this idea to write a script about the 1300s, and to make it more authentic, he dipped the papers in tea, to, and then said, oh, these were found in an ancient ruin, whatever, and they, they think, oh, he's telling the truth, whatever. You know, they believe him. Anthony, who um, was Mark's boss, is played by Jeffrey Tambor. He showed the story to him. We have Sean Williamson, um, who plays Richard Bellison, who's Mark's dad, who I think he was in the EastEnders as Barry, um, all that. We have Rob Lowe, who plays Brad Kess Kessler, who's an evil enemy to Mark. Mark doesn't like him, whatnot. not. Um, he then had dinner with Anna. We have Jason Bateman, who plays Doctor, who's been in films with like Melissa, Melissa McCarthy. Um, trying to think of others, but like good actor. We have Edward Norson, who plays the cop. Philip Seymour Hoffman, who plays Jim, the bartender. So Mark's grandma was dying at 79, and he was telling stuff about, oh, you'll go to heaven, you'll meet this man, whatever. Then other people got onto this story and then wanted to know what happened to them after the truth. Um, Anna and Mark held hands, they went back to hers. People outside heard the story about Mark and his grandma. They waited ages. He got... They got pizza. They were waiting with torches, like the one you see in Lords. Um, he wrote about life after and decided to put them on pizza boxes. And then everyone kept interrupting. He, he was talking about two hours, talking about bad stuff. He was saying, you get mansions for everyone. Um, Mark and Anna nearly kissed. Anna went for... Um, something with Brad, dinner with Brad. Mark now lives in a new mansion, new place instead of a flat. Doctor was with someone, he went across the roads with the same, same thing with the same people, different um, scenario. Mark then went to his grandma's grave to see her. Um, Anna came round to Mark, but like he was so bearded, he'd not shaved. Anna was then getting married to Brad and then saying, Oh, you need to be married to have sex, whatever. Roommate gave him a razor and said, you haven't lost yet. Go shave. Um, and then we hear a quiet place to think about the man in the sky is the church. Mark was on the wind, like the, the window of the church with holding two pizza boxes. Um, we hear Anna say, I want, fat, I want little fat kids with stub noses. And then... Mark said the man in the sky is fake. He had a son that can lie as well. And Anna is pregnant with someone else. Well, another kid, sorry. Um, I would give this film four stars. Absolutely amazing. When, when like, it was going through, you know, the places that, like, the actual name for the truth name for the church and all this stuff, that was funny. And, like, other stuff when he was telling a lie and then people thought, oh... It's the truth, whatever. But yeah, absolutely amazing film. I might try and watch more um, Netflix films, you know. But I think when my Now TV runs out, I think I'll watch more Netflix. Because I think that's unlimited, whatever, or something. But anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.